All right, so you've got your, uh, your panel, right? Now you have a whole page, right? But hopefully at this point you've already kind of narrowed it down and you know which one of the panels you want to do. So I'm going to take depressing looking Spider-Man over here, right? So his uncle is dead, he just captured him, there we go, okay. So I'm going to take depressing looking uh, Spider-Man. Okay, so here's the thing, here's the thing. The first step is this. You actually want to go through, and I've got a uh, drawer on the uh, center console over here with a whole bunch of scissors. Okay, we're gonna go through now. If you wanted to, you could just literally fold this up and call it a day. But to be fair, we can probably keep some of these panels. Somebody else may want them. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this panel. Now I don't have to be precise with it. I'm not trying to get like right up in there, but just kind of slice it on out of there. It'll only take us a couple seconds. Doesn't have to be pretty and pristine. Okay, just like that. Now, whenever I'm done, I'm actually going to take this leftovers. I'm going to put them back in the pile, and that way somebody else could actually uh, use them if they wanted to, because there might be a good panel in there as well. But I've got my picture here ready to go. Just cut off this excess. I don't really need that. So I've got my panel. Okay. Now notice that this is a really tiny panel in comparison to your very, very large paper, right? So we're going to need to enlarge this quite a bit. It also, just to know ahead of time, it may not all totally fit. We might end up having to crop it just a little bit. So just kind of keep that in the back of your head that if you were going to crop this, am I going to crop it this way? Am I going to crop it you know, that way? That's probably horrible. Maybe I'll crop it this way, right? So just kind of think to yourself a little bit about where and how you could potentially crop your picture. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler. And what I want to do is on this panel, now some of you, I'll tell you ahead of time, have much, much larger panels. Some of those DC comic panels are really, really big. In that case, you may want to do like a half an inch grid. That's okay. But 99.9% .9 of you are going to be doing a fourth inch grid. In case you don't know already, and that's fine if you don't. Um, in case you don't know already, I'll zoom in here. Whoa. Okay. So here's my one inch mark, right? So from the end of the ruler all the way up, there's my one inch, right? Half of that is this big guy right here, so that's a half an inch, right? And then half of a half is a fourth of an inch right there. So that's going to be the grid that I'm working on, is a fourth of an inch grid. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of line this up here. Now you could use a T-square, that might make things a little bit easier. And notice that I'm going to line up to the edge of the panel. I don't really need to line up to the edge of the paper, that does me no good. So I'm going to use a, a, a pencil here, so in case I mess up I can erase. I'm going to go right over top every fourth of an inch. And again, you'll see I have a little bit of excess on the end. That's fine. No worries. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the bottom. But remember, if you start from a different direction, then I'll have excess over here and excess over here that doesn't work out very well. So start from the exact same spot on the bottom here. And again, same thing. One, two, three, every fourth of an inch. Okay. Then all I need to do is connect my dots, and that'll give me a perfectly straight line. So even if my paper's all tilted and everything else, it doesn't really matter. As long as I'm connecting those dots, it's going to give me a really perfectly straight line. You get the idea. I'll do that up and down so I can get some uh, columns. I'll also do that side to side so I can get some rows. And I'll do the exact same thing. Like I said, every fourth of an inch starting at the top here. So one, two, three, so on and so forth. I'll do the same thing over and I'll crisscross. So take a couple seconds here, just now in class, and go ahead and grid off your comic book panel at a fourth of an inch grid. If you're worried if you should do a half an inch grid, call me and I'll talk to you about it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pause you for one second here. Um, so at this point, at this point now, you've got your grid half inch or your fourth of an inch, your quarter inch across the entire picture. Notice again, just to reiterate, they are perfect squares. So they're one fourth inch this away and one fourth inch that away. Cool. And again, if you're not totally done with the grid yet, don't stress it out. The next big thing is going to be we need to enlarge this panel. So we need to make a grid on our good paper that is bigger than a fourth of an inch, right? Now, what I'm going to tell you is this, similar to how 99.9% .9 of you guys are going to be doing a fourth of an inch, some of you may not be, the exact same thing goes for your paper. Most of you guys are going to be doing a two inch grid on your paper, okay, two inch grid. If you're a little worried, or for that matter, if like your panel, if you know ahead of time you just really want to zoom in and crop and do like just a tiny little bit of your panel, then talk to me and maybe you'll do a larger grid than two inches, but again, for the most part, you're going to be doing a two inch grid. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and line up on your paper and you'll make a mark each two inches and then you'll go along and do that again. Now, here's the thing. If you have a T-square, 
If you have a T-square, then you're in luck, because the T-square is going to be doing most of the work for you. I'll show you what I mean. So if I take my T-square, okay, and I line it up to the edge of the paper, or I can even line it up to the edge of the table, that's fine too. But if I line it up to the edge of my paper, then whenever I make a line, it's going to be a perfectly straight line. It makes sure that it's perfectly straight, right? But let's say that you don't have a T-square. Maybe you're at home or something, you're working on this later on, you, you're kind of, you know, screwed. What do you do? Well, any old ruler, we can assume that this edge here is nice and perfectly straight, right? And if we assume this is straight, and we assume that the edge of the paper is straight as well, then all I need to do is line up the edge of my ruler to the edge of my paper, and now I've got basically a straight line. To double down and make sure that I've got the straightest line possible, all I need to do is, again, make my marks, just like I did on the grid here, so every two inches, starting from the same point, every two inches, and then just connect up those dots. If they're both made from the same point, then connecting those dots is going to give me a perfectly straight line. Okay? So now do a two inch by two inch grid on your good paper as well. And you can do it lightly. It's all going to get erased anyway. All right. So, so at this point, and again, maybe you're a little, you know, you're still gridding off and that's fine. But at this point, you've got a grid on your comic. You've got a grid on your paper. Now my paper is a little bit smaller here, but just so we can kind of emphasize here. So I've got one, two, three, four, two inch by two inch squares by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so what I need to do is start thinking about cropping. Before I go anywhere else, I need to start thinking about cropping. So I'm going to look at my picture and start thinking, okay, so we've got four across. So let's see. Now, again, I could go landscape if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm going to go portrait. I think that makes more sense. And I really want to show Spider-Man, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So that's not a whole lot showing, and that's okay. Now you can fold it back like that if you'd like to. One, two, three, four. And I can fold it back like that. Or if you're so brazen, if you'd like to, you can just go ahead and cut off your excess. That works too. But I've got my picture. There he is. So he's tall, or excuse me, you know, he's really, really quite narrow right now. And again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I can put on here. So I'm going to see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like right about there. So I'm going to fold it and make sure I'm happy with it. Kind of look at it and be like, yeah, that's, okay, that's kind of what I want. Now again, maybe you don't like all this excess, and if you don't, just, you know, cut it off, it's gone. Okay. But you want to have it folded and trimmed and everything so that you have, that is the picture that you are enlarging. Okay? At this point, just like we did in our demo recently, you know, a couple days ago, at this point you're going to start going one square at a time, transferring your draw. Now, just like in that demo before, the best advice I can give you is this. Literally, see it as a singular square of just abstract shapes, right? I'm just kind of putting down very lightly kind of what I see. It looks like there's like a letter E here. Okay, I've got like the half a letter C. Draw right off onto the table. That's fine. Okay, let's see. There's something here. Okay, then I go to the next one. All right. Again, if they don't match up, do not stress it out. Go one single square at a time and just draw exactly what you see. Okay, let's see. Next one over, comes down, kind of comes over a little bit, up and down. And you kind of get the general gist of this. But again, you see how light that I'm drawing. I'm going really, really lightly with it. Um, please, as you're going along, draw lightly, draw sketchy. Um, try to draw them as weird abstract shapes. If you need to literally kind of, you know, block out the other shapes, or excuse me, the other squares, just so you can see one square at a time, then do that if that helps you. But after you're all done, you should start to see kind of a very sketched out version of your comic that you can then go through and start kind of cleaning up, right? And smoothing things out and kind of crisping them up, okay? Take your time with it. If you don't finish today, that's absolutely okay, especially considering we've only got like 10 or 15 minutes left. But take your time with it. We'll work on it tomorrow as well, okay? We've got plenty of time on that, all right? If you have any questions, I'll come around and help you out. But uh, that's where we're at. All right, go to guys.